Hi, I'm Tim Hungerford, and before we get into my inventory topics on valuation and costing, I thought it important that you know the inventory and cost of goods sold formula. So we first start out with our beginning inventory. Now beginning inventory is the inventory that we have left over from our last financial period. So at the end of last month, let's say, that's how much inventory was in our warehouse. Next, we're going to add our purchased or our manufactured goods, depending on what kind of operation we are. If we buy our product to sell, it's purchases. If we make our product, then it's manufactured goods. Next, we're going to subtract our ending inventory. That's what we have left over at the end of our financial period or at the end of the month. So that gives us our goods that are sold. So our beginning inventory plus our purchases less our ending inventory equals our goods sold. That's the quantity. Now if we're into cost, then it will be our cost of goods sold. The beginning inventory we have plus the purchases and manufactured goods give us our cost of goods available for sale. Our cost of goods available for sale. Now if you'll notice this is an equation. So that means we can figure out a way to get cost of goods available for sale a different way also. So our ending inventory plus our cost of goods sold also equals our cost of goods available for sale. Why is this important? Because when we start to do our valuation and our costing methods, you'll use both of these equations to make sure we have included everything and calculated everything correctly. So now let's summarize that formula. Beginning inventory, which we'll use as just BI for beginning inventory, plus our purchases, which we'll use as a P, equals our cost of goods available for sale. Now, it also equals our ending inventory, which is EI, plus our cost of goods sold, or COGS, C-O-G-S. If you remember that, when we get into the valuation and costing videos, it will be much easier to make sure you have included everything and calculated everything correctly when it comes to inventory and cost of goods sold. In our next video, we're going to actually discuss inventory and cost of goods sold a little more in depth with some visual aids so you'll understand it better. Thank you very much for listening, and remember to comment below, let me know what you want to hear in the future, and also subscribe. Thanks, and have a great day.